the zookeeper said, thanks for bringing them back. Right? <laughs> At the time you made me wear two paper bags on my heat. Ah, well, it was just in case one of yours ripped. But you didn't know I also wore one of mine, just in case they both ripped. You're an awful man. But come on, Jeannie. You're going to have to say something that makes me a little bit more happy. Oh, for goodness sake. I suppose I can always say that your penis is bigger than your brother's. Okay, you two sit down, sit down. Sit down, please, 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 please. We're live on air, ladies and gentlemen. We're live on air. <laughs> Although your father initially forbade it, Jean, you were eventually married in 1788, am I right? I was, yes. Armour! bore you nine children, only three of whom survived infancy. You fell into financial difficulties due to your lack of success in farming. And to make enough money to support your family, you took up a friend's offer of work in Jamaica. However, at about the same time, you fell in love with Mary Campbell, forever known as Hale and Mary. Now, we hoped to have Mary here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But unfortunately, in October 1786, Mary, she died of typhus. She went! You were heartbroken, as Mary was the love of your life, or one of them. And it has long been thought that you had planned to elope to Jamaica with her. However, tonight we have the minister that presided over Hale and Mary's funeral, the Reverend Ian Renfrew, or was it Paisley? Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. You buried him there. I did. And I was there, and her, his friends, two friends were there as well. And they were bookmakers. And one asked the other, What odds do you think should get to heaven? And one said to the other, I'd say seven to four. And the other one said, Four to one. And as I give the sign of the cross over the grave, he says, you'd never have thought 33 to 1. <laughs> but Robbie was always causing trouble in my church. And I always had him sat at the front on the stoop. So did uh, Robbie like a good drink? Aye. I'd say he enjoyed a drink twice a year. Once on his birthday, and once not on his birthday. <laughs> and did he... Young oh, man, was that... Is that drink on your breath? That is the devil's milk. Oh, okay. However, at precisely that time, on the 31st of July, 1786, John Wilson published a volume of your book, Poems. Known poems chiefly in the Scottish dialect. All right. Well, easy for you to Known as the Kilmarnock volume. It sold for three shillings and it changed your life instantly and forever. You postponed your planned emigration to Jamaica and instead you borrowed a pony and set out for Edinburgh. The new edition of your poems bought you 400 pounds and national fame. Have a drink for that. Cheers, James! Please, audience, drink this is live. <laughs> it also bought you a scandalous new relationship with the married, but separated, Agnes, Nancy, McClathus. You exchanged passionate letters under pseudonyms. You called yourself Sylvander. Sylvander. My apologies. It's okay. And Nancy was Clarinda. That will do. However, when it became clear that Nancy would not be easily seduced into a physical relationship, you moved on to Jenny Chow, Nancy's domestic servant, whom you got pregnant, and tonight we can reintroduce you to that same servant girl, Miss Jenny Chow. Exactly the crap you do. Well, apart from 
he, he, he actually inspired me to to uh, to write my own song because his, his music is so lovely, and, and I thought to myself, I'll have a go at that. Fantastic! Yeah, fantastic. From the Would like to hear one? Mm -hmm. Do you tentatively, yes. Would you like to hear one? Ladies and gentlemen, would you like to hear a song? Yeah. A little bit louder there, but would you like to hear one? Yeah. You'll need to help me. <laughs> of all the cities on the coast, there's one that I like more. It stands on the banks of the Yangtze. It is vast beyond compare, almost everything is there. Why don't you come and take a look with me? Shanghai is big and bright, when the lights go on at night. The lights of it was never there before. And you remember where you've been, by the colored lights you see. There's a rainbow outside everybody's door. While walking night in blue, or sailing the white blue, there's sights to see the never here before. For the bond is very old, with architecture to behold, and the beach hotels for scalded atmosphere. All together, shine high is big and bright. When the lights go on at night, the lights of the bed was never there before. And to remember where you've been by the colored lights you've seen, there's a rainbow outside everybody's door. Across the river there's been on, I have told them it's not wrong. It wasn't there twenty years ago. Now it has buildings big and bold, with an art by knots on toes that lights up the sky for everyone to see. Shanghai is big and bright when the lights go on at night. The lights of it was never there before. And you remember where you've been by the colored lights you see. There's a rainbow outside everybody's door. Now, for those who get around, those those ivory spots in town, the crack in them is just the very best. You will hear a song or two while drinking Irish brew, till all the birds are chirping in their nest. Once again, shine high is big and bright. When the lights go on at night, the lights so big was never there before. And you remember where you've been by the colored lights you see. There's a rainbow outside everybody's door. Now while we're in the party mood, it really would be good if we could sing and dance the whole night through. Well, there is a place well known, and that's where we'll be going to every little bar in Julaloo. Shine high is big and bright when the lights go on at night. The lights of it was never there before, and you remember where you've been by the colored lights you see. There's a rainbow outside everybody's door. Last verse. Now the people here are great, especially when are late. Their kindness and good hospitality. I really must declare, and I've been everywhere. But Shanghai is the place I want to be. All together, Shanghai is big and bright. When the lights go on at night, the lights of it was never there before. And to remember where you've been by the colored lights you see. There's a rainbow outside everybody's door. Once again, Shanghai is big and bright. When the lights go on at night, the lights of it was never there before. And to remember where you've been 
by their color like gypsy. Just a rainbow outside everybody's door. There's a rainbow outside everybody's door.
Um, it was this one life. I, I'm in awe, I'm amazed. Standing here as a proud father of women I have never met. I can only say that I am just proud to have them as my daughters, as my lassies. You see, I love the lassies in a non-hillbilly style fashion. So what I would love to do is I would like all the gentlemen in the room to please charge your glasses and please be upstanding. Gentlemen, please be upstanding. Because this is the toast to all the most important people in our lives. And that is not the mistress that some of you have. That is to all the women in the room. Ladies and gentlemen, Sudalan Ganbe. Thank you. 